Now let's look at the direct list method for a given case where the process is second order and also there is a delay term. Now this can be the case where you have two tanks and you are trying to maintain the level in the second tank by manipulating the flow in the first tank. Okay. Now if we have this control system and if you want the output to respond in a first order fashion. So the same delay will be there. So for these two equations, the expression for the closed loop response and the expression for the controller that we got by just simply re rearranging this equation. This expression does not depend on the order of the process or the order of the desired closed loop response. So this remains the same. So if you simply plug in this equation over here, we'll end up getting tau 1 s plus 1 tau 2 s plus 1 over k negative theta s. And we have seen for this term, it will be by approximating the e to the power negative theta s term in the denominator, we'll get 1 into negative theta s over tau Cl plus theta s. Now, these two will get cancelled out and if you write down this equation, it will be simply multiply this tau 1 tau 2 s squared plus tau 1 plus tau 2 s plus 1 over k 1 over tau cl plus theta s. Okay. Now I'll write this in a in an expanded form. So I'll write first this middle term over there because that s and s gets cancelled out. So I will get tau 1 plus tau 2 over k over tau cl plus theta, second term there. And we'll have third term I'll write first. So that will be plus 1 over k tau cl plus theta s. And the first term I'll write at the end that becomes tau 1 tau 2 over tau cl plus theta s. Okay, this s and 1 s gets cancelled out, and there will be this term 1 over k. Okay. Now I want to compare this with the standard or the ideal PID form, which is KFC 1 plus 1 over tau y s plus tau d s. So if I write it in that way, what this expression will become G C. I'll take the entire thing out. So 1 over k tau 1 plus tau 2 tau cl plus theta so this becomes 1 plus we have this tau cl plus theta there and we have the k there what's extra here is tau 1 plus tau 2 at the numerator so we need to write tau 1 plus tau 2 at the denominator and the s term remains there so s plus 
for this case we have the tau cell plus theta is here and the k is there and this one was there so it will remain there and this one was an additional term that came in the numerator so it should go in the denominator and we'll have this s star there okay now if we compare these two we'll get kc to be 1 over k tau y plus tau 2 tau cl plus theta we'll have tau y to be tau 1 plus tau 2 and tau d to be tau 1 tau 2 tau 1 plus tau 2 so we see we get a PID controller for this case as I said the direct synthesis method gives the controller structure along with the controller parameters so if you have a second order model with time delay for the process and the desired closed loop response is first order we'll need a PID controller having this parameter set so you see that we can use the direct synthesis method to get the structure as well as the parameters of the controller.